Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to talk to you about a common question that people have, especially when they're starting out as a new developer or getting back into the workforce, which is, do you need a portfolio as a developer? Quick short answer is yes, you absolutely do. Having a portfolio is essential, especially if you are a front-end developer, even a designer more so, UI, UX, anything that is visual, it is so important to have a portfolio. Even if you are a backend developer or a developer that might not have something as visual to show, having a simple one page portfolio with your contact information, your past experience, and a link kind of like similar to your resume that you can send to employers, I believe is essential. Today we are gonna walk through some of the tips for creating the best developer portfolio so next time when you go to job search, you can feel really confident about sending off your portfolio. My first tip for when you are building your portfolio is to keep it simple. It can often, even for the most experienced developers, become very overwhelming or very tricky quickly when you are thinking about what to include in your portfolio. And that's very reasonable. It's because at the end of the day, it's what the potential employer looks at and sees, and you want to put your best foot forward. But by keeping it simple, you avoid cramming everything into your portfolio. As tempting as it is to add every bell and whistle that you can think of or feature that you can think of to your portfolio by keeping it simple, the UI, the UX simple that they can quickly navigate through. See your top projects, that's another thing. Don't add every single project that you have under the sun. Rather keep it simple and add a few of your top projects. This goes into tip number two, which is always remember the user's experience. Build your portfolio as though you were the employer going to be viewing it. How would they navigate through it? What tabs would they click on? What's most important? Probably the answer to that is on the main page, having who you are, what you do, and either scrolling down and having a section of your actual projects, having a tab at the top that has a project section, an about section, is essential. Things that the employer will really be searching for, having readily available, because if they're not readily available, oftentimes employers will skip on to the next portfolio. Tip number three, share your personality. Sharing your personality and opening up as to who you are will really help you stand out from the crowd. Make your portfolio something that you're interested in. For example, if you're interested in, say, space, make your portfolio space themed. Or if you're interested in, I don't know, dogs, add some like kind of cool cartoon dogs to your website. Making it unique and specialized to you will not only stand out from the crowd, but it will also give you a talking point or the employer kind of a curiosity as to, oh, why did you choose this? Or maybe they're interested in the same thing and can relate. Tip number four, make it easy to contact you. If the employer doesn't have a very straightforward and easy way to contact you, they're not going to go necessarily out of their way, searching and searching as to how to find you. Employers, once again, want to keep everything simple and easy. So having a straightforward way of contact is essential. Make the contact page blatantly obvious. What I would suggest to do is having a tab at the top that is a contact me and also to in that contact me, if you could have a form that they could fill out directly to contact contact you, your email address, your LinkedIn, your GitHub, anything else about you that you want to show to the potential employer. A very common question that is asked and one that I had when I was starting to job hunt for my first job was, do I make my portfolio from scratch as a developer or can I use a CMS? And the quick answer to that is there is no right answer. I would suggest though, if you are a developer, especially starting out and don't have a ton of work to show to your employer, you have a few projects you wanna put on, but that's kind of it. I would suggest making your portfolio from scratch, even a one pager, um, or a page with a few different tabs that have different portfolio, contact, about, that's it. And that will really showcase your different projects, who you are, what you're interested in, and obviously a contact page. Being able to make your own portfolio, think of it as an extension to your projects. In the essence, creating your own portfolio is another project. And that would bring me to my next point, which is highlight your interests. Highlight who you are, what you're interested in, what you do outside of work, whether it's jogging, hiking, going for, I don't know, you're big into restaurants, whatever it is, put that on your about me page. Bring some personality into your portfolio so that when an employer opens it up and sifts through it, not only do they see the quality of your projects, but they also get a sense of who you are and they feel like they somewhat already can connect or know you. And that's another really big draw of making your own portfolio, putting yourself out there and more reason for the employer to essentially become excited about you and more relatable. 
The top three things again to sum it up that I would suggest in your portfolio would be a projects page, about page, and a contact page. And again, especially if you are new to development or just starting out, build your own portfolio. Think of it as another project that you can highlight your skill set with. Thank you all for watching my video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel and let me know in the comments below what other kind of videos you would like to see. Thanks everyone.